very shiny Vaughn C. It's currently 9 a.m. in the morning. This is a new segment called Let's Talk, where I talk about serious issues in multiple communities. I'm using Black History Month for the rest of Black History Month. I did start a little late to address certain things. But before I get to the black stuff, I'm going to address the white stuff. Stuff in white society first. Call an attention to it. Because someone has to. First, I'm going to address a, th a thing that directly affects me. <laughs> this video is called Dear Elistics and Neurotypicals. Points I'll be making will be why do they like bullying and abusing those of us that are different? Why we should live by their rules? Why they like joking about things that we they know we can't control? Let's begin, shall we? Number one. Water me. Why do you, holistics, I'm just directly referencing people who are not autistic right now, which includes neurodivergent and neurotypicals. But like, seriously, what is it, yeah, about making jokes that are really just insults about things you know for a fact we cannot control? Making jokes about it, acting like, all oh, it's all Gucci, acting like it's funny. Like, it's not easy to be autistic, you know? It's hard. Trying to keep eye contact with people that you don't know. Trying to make a point without keeping eye contact, which can make it seem like you're not confident, even if you are. The fact that my eyes keep darting left, left to right, right? That is not an indicator on behavior on my part. It's just because I don't know where the fucking camera is. Because <laughs> I keep switching from here where the camera actually is, to here, because I keep switching it left to right for some fucking reason. But for me, as an autistic person, generally, looking from left to right is not an indicator of lying or anything like that. Behavior is not an indicator of lying for me, because I don't lie. There's no point in lying. So, what is the point? in bullying us, in abusing us, in insulting us, in using humor as a way to continue doing those things and acting like it's all Gucci when you know for a fact we do not control these things. Autistic people do not have control over how they behave when you do things that we don't understand. Obviously I'm going to be in a confused state. Obviously understand what the fuck you're talking about so I have to ask and most of the time it's it's ignoring social clue social cues because you seem to think that I have to follow your social cues like why the fuck should I why should I care why should I bother why should I give a shit what point is there for me follow social cues, to follow how neurotypical, how normal people are. Why should I? Why, why should I bother? Hmm? I seriously expect you to answer this. I expect you to comment on this video. I expect you to share this video to your friends to have this discussion. Because I don't understand why you feel the need to To do that like what the fuck is the point why are you doing it why bother why are you picking on me for something i can't control why are you saying things to me saying jokes they're literally calling me annoying insulting my autistic traits that i can't fucking control like calling it an autistic card don't pull the autistic card what kind of bullshit is that first of all it is not a card. It affects every facet of my life. It affects the texture of all the food that I eat, of all the things that I touch. It affects my senses. Everything sensory about it affects my senses, obviously. That's the, that's the point. Like it, 
what, I just want to know what the fuck is in your little brains that makes you think, hmm, that person's different. That person doesn't think like we do. Let's be, let's be fucking difficult about it. Which brings me to a point I'm going to make another video. Why do you all like being a hive mind in society? Like, what the fuck is the point in being a hive mind? Why? For what purpose? Why bother? I just want to, I just want to know. Why do you want to be a hive mind? That's like a whole thing for a different day right now. Right now, today, it's about autistic people. And also, <laughs> yeah, what is the point of bullying us? Like, seriously, what do you get out of it? Do you, do you feel superior or something? Like, what the fuck is your issue? That you feel the need to bully people who don't understand things the same way that you do, that have to be constantly calculating if someone is joking or literally just take taking the piss out of you or just making fun of you or just talking beans to zambian you know what i'm talking about because i i'm sick and fucking tired of having to be around people friends family members that aren't autistic and they're all like oh it's so funny oh saying shit like oh don't pull the autism card like bitch there is no autism card i am the autistic person okay i am here i'm autistic i have no choice over how i react to things i have no choice of what my face does when i look at you i have no choice because most of the time if i look at you with like a sour expression i'm thinking about something that makes me feel that way it has nothing to do with you so why are you getting offended? Like, you know I don't have control over my facial expressions. You know I can't control my tone. You know I can't control how I perceive things. Sure, maybe I'll learn to get past it, but unlikely. I've learned that how to differentiate some jokes, but I still don't get every single type. I don't get dry humor because I don't understand the point of making a joke about a person for things you know they cannot control. Like, what the fuck is the point? Here's another point. Why should autistic and neurodivergent people live by your rules? Why the fuck should we be like you? Why do you want... It brings me back to the hive mind point. Why the fuck do you want a hive mind? Why do you want everyone to be the same? That defeats the point of diversity. Seriously, what the fuck is the point that you feel the need to do that? Also, autism is not caused by fucking vaccines. The doctor that fucking came up with that study was proven wrong. That doctor was proving to be bullshitting. I'm just writing down angel numbers if you wonder where I'm looking down. It's bullshit. It's what it is. Hundreds of studies have been done on hundreds of autistic children. A couple of children. That prove that autism isn't caused by vaccinations. Like, it was never caused by vaccinations. And the fact that you think that that is a whole thing deems a problem. Instead of making jokes, bullying, belittling, abusing us, autistic people, and us, neurodivergent people, how about you go out of the fucking way? Like, if you actually care about any of us, you will go out of your fucking way to research the shit instead of just assuming you know things. Look it up on Google, but don't just trust every Google search, because not every single article will be factual. Look for studies, look for shit that is backed up by evidence, because living as an autistic person, I want to do the research as well. Because, quite frankly, I don't see the point in living the way that I'm living. If I've, I've lost the point. I don't see the point of... Ah, it's just gone. Anyway, <laughs> we'll, we'll get back to that. It's extremely offensive to assume that autism is caused by vaccines. The fact that you think a genetic disorder, a developmental disorder that's genetic, 
is caused by a vaccine. It makes the point of it being fucking genetic. Like the entire point of it is one, it's hard to adapt to environment, it's hard to adapt to change, it's hard to be around normal people who think normally the way they're supposed to think, I guess. When you don't think that way, it makes life hard. Not understanding social cues, having to, like literally, I have to calculate if every joke, if every change of tone, if every single snicker in the background, whenever I mention that I'm autistic and I hear this autism card bullshit, it's not like, it, you don't say that about black people, you don't say that about anyone else, you don't say that about anything else. Why the fuck say it about autism? It's not a thing. There is no autistic card. Like we say black card in the black community, but it's not an actual thing. Unless you're rich, of course. Then you understand what a black card is. <laughs> But seriously, like, what? In what world do you think that autistic people use that card? Only when a person is obviously using autism to literally um, get you to look over and ignore, to write off. That's the word I was looking for, not look over, write off. Disgusting things that they're doing, like sexual assault. Um, harassment all these things that you don't that you just don't do to people that's just evil that you don't do to people you don't need to be doing these things it's just not necessary using it as an excuse that's where i draw, draw a problem I keep looking at the wrong fucking side. The camera is there. Jesus. I don't even believe in the fucking Christian God. What am I doing? Um, but seriously. Why bother doing all of these things? These are real questions. I expect y'all to answer. If you're not an autistic person and you're not neurodivergent. And if you don't know what either of those are, look it up. Or read about it. And I don't have to provide evidence, by the way, about any of this, because guess what? This is my personal opinion. Not only is it my personal opinion, there's also just, I just want to understand, like, why the fuck do you think it is okay to say and do these things? Anyway, this is me signing off. That is all. Thank you for watching.